Okay, so let's play my favorite game, spreadsheets. <laughs> this is sanity checking stuff. People are always going, how much horsepower do you expect to get? Well, that depends on a whole lot of stuff. But I figure the Chinese can put out numbers and I can put out numbers too. So Zhong Shen is making a clone of the Rotax. Okay, now it's an air-cooled engine, but it has uh, water-cooled cylinder heads. Now, I don't know if the Zhong Shen does, the Rotax does. I'm assuming the thing has copied the Rotax so much it also has liquid-cooled heads. So, of course, they can get away with some little higher horsepower numbers. But anyhow, and maybe I'll water-cool my heads. Who knows? But let's look at this. So, uh, the first thing I want you to know is column C does not exist. This is not a real engine. So, just forget that for right now. Um, they have four different versions of their engine. These two in D and E here, okay? I want to make sure I click on this and don't mess something up. These two right here are the same displacement, but one's turbocharged, okay? Then this one's got more displacement, and this one's got even more displacement, but they're both higher compression, 11 to 1, 11 to 1, okay? So we got 9 to 1 in the first two, 11 to 1 in the next two, and uh, the last two are even bigger. So they run theirs at 5,800 RPMs across the board, and they're turning 2,400 uh, on the prop. So I had the redrive ratio in here, but I, who cares? It's not 1.8 to 1, okay? So the uh, 1211 at 9 to 1 is making horse 80 horsepower. The turbo is making 43.75% more power at 115 horsepower. It's just a turbo on top of this engine. And so it's doing 115 horsepower. So 35 more, more horsepower. Then you can go up to the non-turbo with the you know bored out engine and uh, 1,352 cc's right here. 100 horsepower, 1417 is 109. Okay, so we go down here, look at this. Here's the displacements, and uh, here's it converted to inches. And then what I do is I take the horsepower divided by the RPM divided by the uh, displacement and get this number here, which allows me to do conversion factors back towards the brakes. Okay, so uh, one thing that I would point out is um, on these two engines, the only difference is uh, displacement, they're both 11 to 1. And uh, they come out 82 and a half, 86.5. And when I do the conversion factors for the Briggs, they come out, uh, they should have been the same, really, right? No, they should have been more, 13, 14. Yeah, okay, so that's right. Sometimes I confuse myself. So anyhow, now let's go back here, because I don't want to talk about the Briggs yet. Um, so these are all 9 to 1. The, well, the Briggs is like 8 to 1. So I took this engine and converted it down to 8 to 1 by kind of doing this math here in re reverse by using the Briggs engine and upscaling it into this engine and then taking it back down and getting this conversion factor. And when I do that, the Briggs comes out to 22.8 horsepower at 3600 RPM. So that's that's right. <clears throat> so this right here would be a stock Briggs with a with a single carburetor, okay? No dual carbs, nothing, just right out of the box. If we look at this conversion factor, It'd be 22.8 at 4,400 RPMs. It'd be 27.9 and at 5,220, the maximum for an ultra prop that's 66 inches long at 2,900 RPMs would be 33.1. So this is your stock out of the box 88 pound Briggs engine right here. And uh, this isn't this engine converted this. This is this engine converted from this to create an engine that doesn't exist. And it would be 71 horsepower. So. That kind of looks right, because 9 to 1 we got 80, 8 to 1 we got 71, so this all looks right here, okay? So now let's go over here and look at these other engine choices, because this none of this right here matters. This is sort of sanity checking things. Now we're going to look at this stuff here, okay? So if we look at the first one, well you can do 9 to 1 of the Briggs, I mean that's what almost anybody's going to do, any conversions inside the engine's going to do is they're going to take it to 9 to 1. So if we use the specs from this engine, what can we expect from the brakes? Well, at 3600, we'll go up from 22.8 to 25.7, and then 27.9 to 31.4. And if we rev it way up to our maximum prop speed for a Ultra Prop 2 at 2900, we'll go from 33.1 to 37.3. That's a um, that's that's this right here, okay? And uh, what do I think you need to do that? Well, we already see that a stock Briggs is going to do this, so obviously more has to happen. Uh, more than likely, at least dual carbs to get here, okay? Uh, does this seem to jive? Uh, kind of. We think less is getting 35 at 4,400, okay? So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But we go over here and look at what happens if you turbo it. Well, they get 43.75% more power of the same exact engine by turboing it. And so if you extrapolate that over to the Briggs, these different RPMs, 3,600, 4,400, 5,220, 
you know, it says 37, 45, 2, 53, 6. Now remember, our math looks like it's off here when we when we assume Les Holman's getting 35 horsepower at 4,400 just by going to dual carbs. So this is lower, but when we look at uh, the turbo of the same lowered horsepower, it's way up here, 45.2, and at 52.20, we're at 53.6. So, again, these could be underestimates or dead on, but these are coming from a pretty nice, you know, water-cooled head Rotex clone made in China. Okay, that's where I'm getting these numbers from. So, then we go up here and look and see what would happen if uh, we use this data right here. So what we should be seeing is we should be something seeing something close to all this, okay? Uh, because all we've done is, it, well actually that's not true. We've uh, increased the compression a lot, okay? So uh, when we look at just these two here, okay, where we've got 11 to 1, uh, at 3600 we got 28.8 and that's versus 22.8 and 25.7 by going to 9, 9 to 1. So we jumped up to 28.8 and uh, 29.9 and uh, so that would make sense because this one got bigger compression so these should be the same my assumption here is because this uh, conversion factor is a little bit bigger is somehow this engine makes more horsepower per everything you know cubic engine all that than this engine so it's just a, an efficiency of the engine I guess okay so uh, we've got to kind of I go I would say go with the lower number okay because this one being more efficient for whatever reason. So I would go with these numbers. So the point here is ignore the turbo column, only look at this column, and this one for what a stock Briggs would be with just a totally stock, no, no extra carburetors or anything. This one would be with good carburetors and uh, then compare it to this one, okay? Uh, so the difference is we got nine to one compression, 11 to one compression, okay, on this engine. So. Uh, if you go with the uh, nine to one uh, pistons, you're gonna get 21, 30, or 25, 31, 37, right? And if you go to high compression, uh, you're gonna have 28, 35, 41, okay? At these different RPMs over here. And uh, so I would ignore this one because this engine is merely more displacement and it's putting out more power. So let's go with the low one here for, you know, just throwing stuff up against the wall and seeing what happens here. So, what does it look like? At uh, 5220, we could get 41.7 horsepower maybe, okay? So, we need to run the engine at 5220, get the prop up to 2900, which is the max. If we want to get more out of it, we're going to have to change the redrive so we can go beyond 5220. But, on paper, uh, I don't see why it's not 41.7 horsepower at 5220. Uh, these guys uh, claimed TBO is 2,000 hours and 2,500 hours. I think the turbo is 2,000 and all the rest of these are 2,500. Um, so, you know, I mean, will the Briggs do this? I don't know. We'll find out. But, you know, again, like I said, we've got to start at 3,600, 4,000, 4,400 down in that range and get everything, uh, you know, spec'd out on the engine. And then we can start jumping up into these 5220s and maybe higher, but we're going to have to change the redrive. Um, so yeah, if you keep asking, you know, what horsepower do you think? Well, you know, I keep saying around 40 or so, if not more. Um, and it looks like we'll have to get up into the 5200s to get it. Um, if we were just trying to get to 40, it'd be a little less than 5220. But, you know, this is just sanity check stuff here. Is it possible? Well, the totally stock Briggs at 5220 is 33. And we're going to jump up to 9 or 11 to 1. Now, my plan is 9 to 1, okay? I think 11, I mean, you can do 11 to 1. They've got the pistons to do it. Um, I just don't know about 11 to 1. Uh, there's fuel issues and other issues, and I just think 9 to one's the way to go. Uh, what are we losing, like 4 horsepower? A little over 4 horsepower? So, we can always rev it up more or something, I don't know. But, uh, you know, so anyhow, maybe you'll find this interesting. <laughs>